Hey, hey there, Twisted Sage here. Moon is currently in Sagittarius, uh, nine degrees. And off to the left there, you can see Jupiter in, also in Sagittarius, 18 degrees. Um, let's see, the moon currently the camera on me ah that's too much jeez um, wow I didn't realize I had that on um <laughs> fuck <laughs> so the moon isn't really an aspect to anything at the moment it is moving towards square um with Neptune imagine that won't happen until sometime tomorrow uh which definitely can bring a fogginess to vision or your emotional feel um, maybe a sense of being lost um let's see Jupiter in Sag it's two degrees past its square to Neptune um so in a certain sense certain sense things may be clearing up um, between because of the square to Neptune, which uh, would bring a sense of uh, delusion, the square between the two. Um, in a certain sense, it's kind of unfortunate that this uh, that Jupiter in its home sign had to be squaring Neptune. Uh, maybe the journeys couldn't have been as epic as they. If they could have it had Neptune been in a different sign, but it is what it is. Um, right, one thing I did notice, uh, painting a friend, family member's house. Um, the lady is, uh, she's a Scorpio, but she's a Virgo rising. And she seems to be very mood swingy, not... And by that I mean like she'll be really happy one day and then she'll be really down. Like I just seen her um, trying to finish her, her job while well, I got other bigger priorities. But anyways, um, so I said, how are you doing? And she's like, oh, good. And I was like, I was like, you seem kind of down. And she's all no. And I was like, and I, I didn't argue the point. But her being a Virgo, I just noticed that, yeah, her mood... So the moon squaring her, um, I could just tell she was down. Mutable energy square, mutable energy. Anyways, yeah, my uh, fantasy football thing, I definitely missed something. <laughs> um, the quarterback I plugged in fucking bombed it in a bad way. He uh, didn't bomb it down the field at all. He... Number of sacks, fumbles, interception. Uh, so the moon was square, his moon. That maybe that was something I missed. I didn't miss it. I mean, I, I I was aware of it, but I didn't think I just, for some reason, was thinking the moon was going to just empower all his Scorpio stuff. Um, don't know what his ascendant was, so there's that too. I don't know. Perhaps we're... The placements, his house placements, where his plants lie. But, um, yeah, yeah, this moon definitely had me kind of emotional towards the end of the day. Um, maybe that had something to do with Pluto coming direct around noon. I wait, mm, shit. <laughs> Can't, maybe can't quote me on that. I don't recall from other videos I was watching. I could have swore I heard someone say 12 p.m. But I'm kind of thinking they meant a.m. Getting it confused themselves. Anyway, so maybe it doesn't matter. 12 hour difference. Um, when we're talking Pluto because it moves so damn slow. 
God, this fucking light is bright. <laughs> Let's go back to the moon. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Um, it's been a long one. I think that's all I got for the evening. And not my day.